Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another Serpents 3 intro tutorial. In this video, we're going to be covering the row node. And there's a lot to cover with the row node with all these inputs and as well as the outputs. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. So I've got some animated text that I want to be able to make some UI for. And I want to be able to adjust both the size and the shear as this thing is going around the curve. But I also don't want to make my users adjust that while the animation is playing, so I give them the option to play, pause, and jump between keyframes. So on a row node, if I were just to plug in items back to back, they align vertically. And a row node allows you to align items horizontally. So all, all my labels here, label 1, 2, and 3, can be aligned horizontally when I do that. Let's go ahead and talk about the label section. So label works for displaying properties. So when you have a display property node with a tied property such as this text size, then you can set in a label and it will set it on the outside. Now if I delete this label, I can have just the value and this will be on the outside. If I were to get rid of this, it will expand to fill in the entire space as long as I have expand set. I could type in the label here and it would be on the inside. Now alert applies for situations where you want to let your user know, hey, this probably isn't the best time to be using this. It doesn't work for this scenario. So if I'm animating, I probably don't want my users to be adjusting things on the text if I've been inserting keyframes. So maybe I don't want them adjusting size and shear. So I went and grabbed the blend data browser and under screen there's an is animation playing boolean node. So I copied that and then hit shift V to paste it. You can plug in the output of the boolean so that when the animation is playing, you can alert your users and it'll change the property to red. Now if you give your property a label, it also sets the label to be red. Now the internal display property value won't change to red but the label does. Now let's say you wanted to just completely disable the item. You can do that by hitting the enabled checkbox, or I can use an invert boolean to basically say, if I'm playing, don't enable. Now you can't adjust these values while animating. And when you stop, you'll be able to adjust them again. Split layout and decorate layout both work for display properties as well. They don't work for things like labels or buttons. When you click on display split layout, it makes the item appear much like you would see in the Blender properties panels. So you have the label on the outside hugging the value. And as long as you have split layout turned on, you can also turn on decorate layout and that allows you to start animating the property and insert keyframes. Can't use decorate layout if split layout is turned off. Okay. Now I've got on this bottom row here, I have all these buttons aligned horizontally on my row. And I want to be able to make them all hug each other so there isn't any of this white space. So that's where a line would come in. I also want to make this section much bigger because that's a really small use of space. Um, I wanted a line to center though, so I can change the scale and bring this up to something like 3. Now it's filling up the space. I can set the Y scale as well to make it a little bit bigger. The alignment allows you, so let's throw in this row node for the top. So I've got three different labels and I can pick how I want things to align. Now this works for other things such as my buttons, um, as long as you have multiple things in a row. You can change it from expand to left, to centered, and to right. Typically, the row node comes in with expand set by default. And that's it for row nodes. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. 